All right, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Clinton High School today, where Mark Weiss has just signed a letter of intent to continue his education and football career down at Newberry as one of the wolves down there. Almost said Indians on the old school there. So, anyway, congratulations. We have a few questions for you. First, congratulations. Uh, what was it about Newberry that made them stand out from the rest of the field? Uh, when I went down there, it made it feel like home. And they treated the players good. It feel like home to me. Was there, um, when you were looking at a, a school, were you looking at something that was kind of that vibe that maybe felt a little bit like, like here, that you didn't want to get to too big of a place? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I want to make it feel like home if I could feel comfortable away from home. It's away from home, but it's close enough you can bring the laundry home if you need to. Yes, sir. <laughs> when I went to school, I went close enough so that if I got on the PC, I'd have to come home every time the hogs got out. <laughs> it sounds like a joke, but it's the dang truth. <laughs> Coach Webb was talking about the fact that you did what it took, what the team needed. What were there? What was the situation? He said, he said, uh, if you're going to play cornerback, you said yes, sir. What, what, what times were there when you got put in positions where you had not been because they needed help? Uh, because they probably have a good player at a certain position I had to cover them or they need to be down or they need to be standing up at linebacker. How tough was it to transition into maybe some spots that maybe either you didn't play at all before or maybe you had played sparing, you know, sparingly or did something, a play here or there. How difficult a challenge was that at times? It wasn't that hard because I'm an athlete and I play sports a lot of times but it ain't that hard. You just got to learn and try your best. Looking back over your Clinton High School career, is there any one game, any one moment or situation that stands out as something that you'll just quote unquote never forget? Uh, Aiken game. The Aiken game? Yes, sir. Well, why that one just out of curiosity? I scored five tests out of that game. Oh, hmm. It's a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something about your relationship with Chris Holmes. Y'all had, I think you had 13 touchdowns, he had 12. You had about 100 more yards or so. I mean, it was, but both of you are over 1,000 yards. But, you know, the, the tandem of you two shared a lot of attention and a lot of success. But, you know, neither one of you outshone the other. You had, there has to be a good relationship between the two of you. Yeah, we've been playing together for about 10 years now. So, yeah, we've been playing football for a while. Now, down at Newberry, has the coach talked to you or give you any, any indication of what position or positions they may look at playing you? They, won't, they might play me at running back or outside linebacker or safety. Which one would you rather do? Running back. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly, uh, you know, we've been talking a lot about your, you know, the football side of it and you know, the fact you're going to Newberry to, to play football, but you're also going down there for an education. Um, have you thought a lot about in terms of what you may uh, major in? Uh, you're down graphic there? design. Graphic design? Mm -hmm. What about that, that interests you? Uh, I just like doing stuff. I like art a lot. Mm -hmm. I believe that will be a good place for me to start. Now with the major in graphic design, do you have any career goals after college? What you'd exactly like to do with that? Mm, not really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not yet. You can go work at a newspaper. <laughs> I'm serious. Newspaper magazines, they yeah. love graphic designers. No, they do, they're very versatile <laughs> yeah. in what they can do. So. Yeah. Most any of the media, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you, don't know, you don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a job offer over there? You can work your way up to the New York Times, my friend. Don't do this <laughs> Yeah. And then at the New York, the only difference between the New York Times and the Clinton Chronicle. Mm -hmm is that the New York Times, like the Clinton Chronicle, is running off veteran sports writers so they can hire kids out of college for one-third as much. The difference is the New York Times hires them from Princeton. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, have you had a chance to look at Newberry's signee list? They've signed yeah, 51 seen, in, on their first day. So yeah, it's, I've seen some of them. Most of them, team, they come out of teams that we played against during the regular season. In practice, you're going to have to chase Colton Bailey again? Again. <laughs> <laughs>
that's why I don't want to play safety coach. I've, I've chased that guy. And, <laughs> and Amir. So, you know, yeah, Amir yeah. Abrams. Only on my side of the field. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Again, play. congratulations. Wish you well down there. And you're not only your football career, but your academic career. Thank you. All right. This has been Mike Hughes for Real Radio 860 WLBG.